Milwaukee victory over Washington, 135 to 134, the highest scoring one point game in the NBA this season. The Bucks control the opening tap. And I guess ends up being a smart foul on the first play of the game. Looped up by Giannis for Brooke Lopez. And I guess luckily for the Bucks, they must have put a, a second play in as well. At times you think, uh-oh, where is he going? But he's always under control, and he makes it more than you, more than you would expect. Brooke Lopez needed six points for 14,000 in his career. He gets them quickly. Points in two minutes. DiVincenzo in the restricted area. That's always a good sign early. When you got guys assisting the ball, that means good spacing around the court, and guys are being willing passers. There's a lot of trust on this Milwaukee Bucks team right now. He better ISO every time. So we saw Giannis in a lot of ISO situations in the two games against Brooklyn. They covered him one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, he's been just trying to get himself healthy and only played 14 games with Houston so far. Six for Giannis. Defense there by Brook. For the Bucks to come out and I think continue to play, be who they are, that's what's important. That's exactly what they're doing. It's an and one. Out of the Kumbo has eight with a free throw coming. Part of the reason it feels as if the Bucks are toying with the Rockets a bit is the fact that 14 of the 16 points have been scored in the paint by Milwaukee. You know, I think it's it's so personnel based. If you actually have a guy that you think can guard Giannis one on one, God bless you, and let's see. Good pass right there, Olenek with the finish. Just two highest scoring averages against those two teams, which I think is very telling and has to make you feel about oh, turnover there for Forbes. He laid the pass out. Olenek steals. Another long miss for Augustine. Long rebound to Giannis. That shortens the court for him. And I'm not sure you want to shorten the court for Giannis. And Houston is starting to hit three-pointers. Drives in. Houston has found some life here late in the first quarter. Milwaukee was dominating. They were cruising by scoring in the paint. And Houston is not letting up. You can either see the good or you can see the bad. I always told Jeff, come on, play me more. Rick Adelman. Every time I see it. Is Novak playing defense uh, yet? <laughs> Still not, right? You tell him. Forbes. Closing seconds of the first quarter. The Bucks lead by five. Martin again. Chris Middleton working against Daniel House. Nice little fadeaway. Didn't go for him. Bobby Portis stripped. Gets it back to score. Olenek met him at the hoop. Pat Connaughton. Great drive for two turn it on with some teams but that's just not typical and i think having that momentum is big time at this time of year all of a sudden houston is getting to the rim in the first quarter they relied on threes a great defensive team in the houston rockets got to play d on this end though armani brooks with a tough shot he was double teamed it ends in a turnover for the rockets Giannis behind the back through the defense out of the Kumbo has 13 points. Midway point of the second quarter. Daniel House. This shouldn't be happening, Steve. Just signed a 10 day today because the Rockets are so short handed. They needed help. Giannis, yes. Up to 15 points with eight rebounds and four dimes. That stroke is looking prettier by the day. Couldn't come at a better time with the playoffs not too far away. About two weeks, actually. Inside, I was mad at them for being so bad and try to take it out on them in order to create motivation. And I think sometimes you got to make stuff up to get yourself going. Brooke Lopez. Of the situations that have been going on, so we've seen abnormalities, and you just never know what's going on. Yeah, you're right. Well, it's a unique year. And you got to think few adjustments at halftime with how they're shooting the ball and now look shots like that you know you do you tip your cap and it would through holiday wow a three with Olenek defending 
Yeah, it looked like he was just winding the clock down, wasn't really going anywhere, wasn't trying to go by him, but all of a sudden that big step back, create that space, that's pretty. Anthony Lamb for three. Got to find some form of motivation, and this Bucks team is playing for big things. Drew Holiday. Good looking shot there, though. He does a great job of creating that separation on his shot, knocking those threes down. The Bucks move the ball nicely. DiVincenzo, they move it again, and Middleton for three. That's his tenth, so Giannis has a double double 15 points and 10 boards. Holiday sees Lopez at the basket. It's also how the Bucks started the game, and I think you just have to see that defensive intensity. Continue to be there, taking away perimeter shots. Like that. DJ Augustine way too open. Last time that's what it was. 143-136. Bucks on the wrong end of it. Uh, no Kevin Porter Jr. out here tonight who was <laughs> at 50 points that game. But Olenek, he is. But Rockets beat the Bucks 143 to 136. 143, the highest point total of the season for Houston as Lopez hits the three. The Bucks are starting to rock a bit from behind the arc. And I think it's just really it's good to see from a guy like Drew ramping up into that playoff form seeing Giannis do the same in that Brooklyn series it just seems like this team is getting where it needs to get tonight oh you're right the go-ahead we'll call it the go-ahead shot that's a big win I mean they're certainly expected to be able to hold that spot but you know Brooke is aggressive a lot of times but you could tell you knew right where he was going as soon as he put the ball on the floor I guess it was oh my that would be Kenyon Martin Jr. who has played well tonight. 15 now for him. Lamb missed it. Lamb got hammered on a screen by Brooke Lopez the last time down the floor. He got crushed. Divisional banners. Not hung as much anymore, but it was more something in the past that the banners were put up. Nice shot there by Middleton knocking down the three. Bucks are the Central Division champions already. They have clinched that, but they could be the first team in NBA history to go undefeated within its own division. Foul called, count it, and one. Your own division, you figure that it might have happened before. Golden State had all those victories, Chicago, the Bulls, Michael Jordan in those years, you would have thought maybe there would have been that kind of dominance, but it has not happened. DiVincenzo. By Bryn Forbes, getting the hand on it, not going out of bounds. Start the break, and he got numbers. Donatin too strong on that three. Cleaning up Dante. Chris Middleton works Armani Brooks. Portis. Great work, excellent rebound, and he worked against three defenders. To play better, they certainly have Chris Middleton after only having two points in the first half, 11 points in that third quarter, but 43 points. Tough basket by Drew Holiday off the glass. Armani Brooks backs away, seven on the shot clock. That three is good for Anthony Lamb, the rookie from Vermont. Yeah, and you can see why. I mean, you guys bounce around, try to find the right home, right fit. And the truth is, him ended up in a place where he gets an opportunity. It's great for him. DJ Augustine drives into the paint and scoops for two. In front of the rim. Houston is working. And they have worked hard for much of this game. Augustine, again, his fourth made three, 17 points. Puts the court up and makes it scoring easier inside the three-point line. That all has a lot to do with why the scoring is so high. These teams have combined for 88 three-point attempts with that make by DiVincenzo. He's four for nine. Yeah, it's a new era. There's no question. My goodness. 13th 20-point game or better for Drew Holiday since the All-Star break. What a great pass. Lopez flush. DiVincenzo right on the fingertips. DiVincenzo gets into Armani Brooks. Now Olenek. Yes. One forty-one. One thirty-three. Not quite the same score. 20 point game or better for Drew Holiday since the All Star break. What a great pass. Lopez flush. DiVincenzo right on the fingertips. 
DiVincenzo gets into Armani Brooks. Now Olenek. Yes. One forty one. One thirty three. 20 point game or better for Drew Holiday since the All Star break. What a great pass. Lopez flush. DiVincenzo right on the fingertips. DiVincenzo gets into Armani Brooks. Now Olenek. Yes. 141. 133. 20 point game or better for Drew Holiday since the All Star break. What a great pass. Lopez flush. DiVincenzo right on the fingertips. DiVincenzo gets into Armani Brooks. Now Olenek.